A battle cry is a yell or chant taken up in battle, usually by members of the same combatant group. Battle cries are not necessarily articulate, although they often aim to invoke patriotic or religious sentiment. Their purpose is a combination of arousing aggression and esprit de corps on one's own side and causing intimidation on the hostile side. Battle cries are a universal form of display behavior aiming at competitive advantage, ideally by overstating one's own aggressive potential to a point where the enemy prefers to avoid confrontation altogether and opts to flee. In order to overstate one's potential for aggression, battle cries need to be as loud as possible, and have historically often been amplified by acoustic devices such as horns, drums, conches, carnixes, bagpipes pipes, bugles, etc. Battle cries are closely related to other behavioral patterns of human aggression, such as war dances and taunting, performed during the warming up phase preceding the escalation of physical violence. From the Middle Ages, many cries appeared on standards and were adopted as mottos. An example being the motto Du a mon droit of the English kings. It is said that this was Edward III's rallying cry during the Battle of Cre Acute Cy. The word, slogan, originally derives from slew again or slew again, the Scottish Gaelic word for, gathering cry, and in times of warfare, battle cry. The Gaelic word was borrowed into English as slughorn, slughorn, slogum, and slogan. History Antiquity The war cry is an aspect of epic battle in Homer. In the Iliad, Diomedes is conventionally called Diomedes of the loud war cry. Hellenes and Akkadians alike uttered the onomatopoeic cry, Alala, in battle. The troops of ancient Athens, during the Medic Wars and the Peloponnesian War were noted for going into battle shouting, Alala or Alil, which was supposed to emulate the cry of the owl, the bird of their patron goddess Athena. The Western Huns attacked with terrifying battle cries. A common war cry used in ancient Tamil Arkham was Vetrival Vera Vel. Vel is the holy lance of the Hindu god of war Murugan. Middle Ages each Turkic tribe and tribal union had its distinct Tamgar, Totemic Ongan bird, and distinct Uran. While Tamgas and Ongins could be distinct down to individuals, the hue of horses and Uran battle cries belonged to each tribe were passed down from generation to generation, and some modern battle cries were recorded in antiquity. On split of the tribe, their unique distinction passed to a new political entity, endowing different modern states with the same urine battle cries of the split tribes, for example Kipchik battle cry among Kazakhs, Kyrgyzers, Turkmens, and Uzbeks. Some larger tribes urine battle cries, Kipchik, Ibar, Kangali, Baiterek, Aguzas, Teka, Despota Feras, was the most characteristic cry of the Almogovar warriors during the Reconquista. Deus Vult, was the battle cry of the Crusaders. Montjoy Saint Denis, battle cry of the kings of France since the 12th century. Santiago y Sierra, España was a war cry of Spanish troops during the Reconquista, and of the Spanish Empire. The Takbir, God is Great, has traditionally been used by Muslims as a battle cry. On August 14, 1431, the whole Holy Roman Empire army was defeated by the Hussites in the Battle of Domas Lice. Attacking imperial units started to retreat after hearing KTOZJSU Bozi Bojovna Sikoral and were annihilated shortly after. The Byzantines used several battle cries during the existence of the empire. Before Latin was replaced by Greek, the soldiers would use the battle cry, Nobiscum Deus. After Greek became the official language, the Byzantines would use either Kyrie Eleison or Storus Nica. Mongol warriors used Ukai or Uuhai battle cry to urge both men and horse to battle. The cry is still used in modern Mongolia, especially during traditional archery of Nardam. The cry is used as a signal of archer hitting the target. The Sikh slogan or Dekara battle cry, Bol So Nihal, Sat Shri Akal popularized by Guru Gobind Singh. 
The rebel yell was a battle cry used by Confederate soldiers during the American Civil War. During the Second Northern War, Swedish soldiers used the battle cry for Fadern's Lindet, Garpa, Hura, Mabuhai was used as battle cry of the Philippine Army during the Philippine Revolution the battle cry Mabuhai and Pilipinas, as a charge, attack. Finnish troops in the Swedish army in the 17th and 18th centuries would use the battle cry Hakarpal. In the 16th 18th century, the French used the battle cry Pour la Ware pour la France. French troops in the Napoleonic Wars after 1805 used the battle cry Vive l'Empereur. In the Texas Revolution, following the Battle of the Alamo, Texan soldiers would use the battle cry Remember the Alamo. Modern during the Balkan Wars, World War I and World War II, the Bulgarian army used the characteristic Slavic Urara, often preceded by Narenoj or Popet Narenoj when fighting against Turks, illustrating their prevalent fascination with the metaphor of the knife as a weapon turning the fight into something very personal, close, bold and decisive. During the early 1910s, mainland Greeks spontaneously employed the ERA, a battle cry previously used by the Cretan gendarmerie. It became standardized in the land armed forces of Greece during the constant warfare of the next 30 years. The Balkan Wars, World War I, the Asia Minor Campaign, and World War II. During World War I, Italian troops would use the battle cry, Savoir. During World War II, Banzai served as a battle cry of sorts for Japanese soldiers, particularly in a Banzai charge. During Indonesian National Revolution, the military, pro-independence militias, and political leaders used the word Merdeka as its battle cry and greetings to the Indonesian people. During the Nicaraguan Revolution, Sandinista combatants used the battle cry Patria Libra Omora. Ura is a war cry used by United States Marine Corps. The Russian version, Ura, has been used by the Imperial Russian Army, the Red Army and is still used by the Russian ground forces. It was also used by Yugoslav partisans as Juris. During Operation Torch in North Africa, Woho, Woho Mohamed, became the battle cry for British airborne forces. Taken from the manner in which nomadic locals used to communicate over long distances by shouting from hilltops. In Afghanistan, Norwegian troops of the Telemark Battalion would sometimes use the battle cry Til Valhal, followed by Ura. Muslim Mujahideen shouters Allahu Akbar.